some years ago, right? When I first got saved, I used to work at this pawn shop and I would literally come into work every day and I have my Bible. Um, and I'll be reading and just like soaking in the word while I'm at break. You know, when I come into work, I'd be like listening to the word, um, listening to different Christian artists like Christian rap or whatnot. And um, I'll just be talking to people about God like freely, right? Um, and it wouldn't be like religion, it'd just be like, hey man, you know, oh God good, ain't he? You know, just, just casual conversation. And like five, five years later, I'm in Walmart and this guy, he's like, he stops me. He like, hey man, you used to work at this pawn shop. Mind you, I didn't know this dude from a can of paint. And he remembered this. He remembered my relationship with Christ because it was genuine. And it encouraged him so much so that he remembered this five years later. And then God started speaking to me and he's like, you know, people watch your actions more than they watch your words, you know? That's why it's so important to be true to yourself. That's why it's so important to be genuine with your walk with God because that's gonna be way more effective. So I'm speaking to that person out there that want to, you know, impact people for the kingdom of God, that want to uh, be used by God and you don't know what to do, you don't know where to start. And I just wanna tell you, just be you, just be genuine, just be yourself and let God use you. You know, it's it's kind of like, um, kind of like a faucet. You know, when you got that faucet running, it's just flowing through. So God wants to use you like that. The things that God put in your spirit, he wants you to release it. And what happens is like, if you think of a child, the Bible always talks about, you know, unless you convert and be like a child, then you won't enter it in the kingdom of heaven. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because children, notice children, children are innocent. Children is gonna speak their mind. They're gonna tell you straight like it is. And this is how we have to be, but in a sense of like whatever God put in us, we gotta flow out. So a child is like that. Meanwhile, we're supposed to be like this, but we we get so confided in the world and in the thoughts of the world. Now we hesitate whenever God put in our spirit because we don't want to offend nobody. You know, we hesitate because we want to be um, accepted. We want to be, you know, politically correct and stuff like that. And it's like God did not call us to be pol uh, politically correct. God called us to make change. And the only way we're going to make change effectively is by being obedient. By being obedient, right? I'm gonna tell you a story. My wife was, she was telling me this story yesterday, right? And it was this, it was this preacher. They got on stage and they preached and God literally told this lady to do something like unconventional. God said, do a cartwheel. And she's like, what in the world? But she did it, right? But I'm gonna tell you, so it was this atheist that was in the crowd. And then the atheist was like, hey God, if you are real, then you're gonna have the preacher do a cartwheel today. And just by this lady being obedient, it got this atheist saved and this atheist brought millions of people to Christ. You see what I'm saying? So just be obedient. The things that God put in your spirit to do, just do it. Don't overcomplicate it. Okay. God wants and he desires a relationship with all of his kids, right? But us in, in our, our human mind, we want to make things so complex. We want to put so much separation between us and God. And bro, it's really not like that. God is a spirit, okay? That same spirit lives inside of us. And a lot of times whenever he talks to us, it's through our spirit. So whatever he puts inside of your spirit, it's going to act as a feeling, right? And we know that it's God because if it aligns with the word of God, we know it's from God. If it doesn't align with the word of God, then it can't be from God. Simple as that, okay? So if this, if this, this feeling is like, hey, let me encourage this person. So guess what? You go do that and you use by God. And by you encouraging this person, look, God is getting glorified. You being obedient. It's just that simple, man. Let's not overcomplicate this. Let's bring the kingdom of heaven down everywhere we go, okay? In the Bible, it says, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. God desires us to bring his kingdom on earth the same way it is in heaven, everywhere we go. Love y'all, stay encouraged, be blessed.